Hey guys, Matt Coleman here with Digital Marketer. Today, we're gonna to talk about the cost of advertising on YouTube. So there are a few things to consider when talking about the cost of advertising on YouTube. One area to consider is that most of the YouTube ads are charged on a cost per view basis. Let's first talk about the in-stream ads as these are probably the most common form of advertising you're aware of on YouTube. These are the ads that appear before the video you are trying to watch, and you can't skip them for a full 5 seconds. These in-stream ads are on a cost per view basis. This means that you're only charged for an in-stream ad whenever the user either watches over 30 seconds of the ad or the ad in full. So if your video is say 31 seconds, but they watch 29 seconds then skip your ad, you will not be charged. If your video is say 25 seconds, 10 seconds, or any number below 30 seconds, and they watch the ad in full, then you will be charged. Make sense? What about the in-display ads? These ads are also on a cost per view basis. Unlike the in-stream ads, advertisers are charged whenever the user decides to click on a video from either the related videos column or at the top of a search result. There are also the non-skippable ads, and these are charged on the basis of the amount of impressions your ad is receiving. So what is the cost for each ad type? Well, the reality is that it really depends on a bunch of factors. YouTube or AdWords decides how much you're gonna be charged based on the competition for a specific keyword, placement, or demographic, as well as how layered you get with your targeting. Let's say for example you're an advertiser who is selling hats on YouTube. If this advertiser targets the whole world, they would be charged less than if they targeted say only English speaking countries. Now let's say they are selling shirts with the state of Texas to only people who live in Texas. Well, just the same, they would be charged more because of the more precise targeting that is layered for their campaign. Rather than thinking about ads as a cost question, you should be asking yourself what's the ROI or return on investment. You could sell shirts of Texas to the whole world for a cheaper cost per view, but it would be a better decision to only target Texas at a higher cost with less ad spend waste. So what's the cost for advertising on YouTube? The lowest I have personally seen was a few pennies per view, all the way up to 150 depending on the targeting. But as long as you can ROI, it's worth it. Are you interested in having our ultimate digital marketing toolbox? We have a PDF download with 17 of our ultimate digital marketing toolbox resources that you can get by clicking right here. Also, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos just like this one. I'm Matt Coleman with Digital Marketer, and thanks for watching.